if I, if I and my partner are side by side and we're asked to describe why do we love each other, mm -hmm. and I say, okay, I really love my partner because she cooks really well mm -hmm. and she's never fucked another guy while we're dating. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay. And then she says, oh, well, I love him because of this and that and that and that and that. Yeah. Well, who loves each other more? I, that just seems like a weird... It just seems like a weird thing to me. It's like, oh, well, I like her because of these two things that I can well, find remember, literally every other woman in the, on the planet. Well, remember the question I said, who, who is closer to unconditional love? Oh, right? I didn't hear that. I thought yeah. you said who loves more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's so closer I said, to unconditional yeah, so, so love? Because I, I said first, okay, unconditional love isn't realistic. Okay, However, well, in that case, then the unconditional love is going to be the one with the lower standard. So if you're yeah, a low standard I mean. guy, yeah. then sure, you're, yeah, it's, yeah, it's easier for you to it's love. It's a guy. Okay. Uh, and I mean, I, I see that you switched to the, the point a little bit saying, no, uh, like, you know, men, women love more because they have more standards. But my thing is, who's closer to unconditional love? And I would argue men. it's the men because we have far less conditions than women do. Sure. Well, in that case, the, the closest to unconditional love would be people with like Down syndrome or something, right? You see somebody, <laughs> you smile, you know, if that's the, if well, that's the ideal, okay, you want to act like a retard, I'd be like, oh yeah, I mean, these are the people that you feed them, like, they love you. You gotta find the one. But let's be honest here, a lot of guys are retards when it comes to smoking. I agree, they're all retards. Yeah, sure. You know, 